fact, there's a nice study uh, it came out early in uh, 2020, and it was it was talking about the lessons we've learned from influenza and what they have as far as a uh, uh, you know potential impact on COVID. And they saw that people that were obese, um, not only did they have greater risk that they would you know get sick, be hospitalized, be intubated, and die, but they also um, when they, you know, they would shed viral particles for longer periods of time and they would shed more viral par particles and populations that have large, you know, numbers of obese people, higher percentages, pandemic outcomes tend to be worse. There's higher mortality rates, even among the non-obese. I mean, it just, they just kind of brew these, um, uh, you know, more virulent uh, viruses or, or they shed them for longer periods of time. And so, uh, that's something that no one wants to talk about. I mean, I've, I've, I've quoted that study a number of times. There's, uh, there's many other studies like that that show that. And so if you were going to say, who is putting people at risk? I mean, the, the honest answer would be these people that are metabolically compromised, not who's vaccinated or not. I mean, that doesn't seem to hold up uh, with regard to transmissibility, at least not to the degree that they're trying to make it out to be. 